Hello, 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 Sunny Bonani. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Another day, another Tenjue comedy video. Today, we are so lucky. We have a very, very special guest. We are so lucky and so blessed to have this very, very busy lady for her to give first time would say okay guys i'll come and join you we feel very very honored today's guest is south africa's businesswoman philanthropist great mother great daughter great sister great neighbor dibalantonina great friend and i do not know how she does it all i don't know how she does it maybe she should uh, write a book and give us a manual of how she manages to perfect everything that she touches. I will not waste much time. I know a lot of you are happy and anticipating. I hope you guys are safe. I hope we have all washed our hands. Uh, let me waste no more time of yours and welcome our guest, Mom Keys. Good evening, Tenjiwe. Good evening to your listeners. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> You speak a lot about Umamu Florence, who is your mother. Can you please tell us about her? Who was she? Mm. You know, it, it, some some days I wish I could write a book about my mother. You know, my mom will rock in into the men's space. She will rock in there and uh, she will take over. She will take control. And uh, she will be this woman who everybody wants to know where is she getting the strength you know my mom will uh, put us aside and uh, you know at home we we're never us it was never alone it was never us you know her family there's forever so many people that are coming in there and my mom was welcoming everybody in our house so we've never had an opportunity to say this is my mom and this is my mom only and i think she was a family you know, my, my mom loves her family. She she loves anything else will come second, but her family will come first. I think she has installed and put those family values within us. She had a good heart and she was very giving. And I miss her a lot. You, 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 we are through We are through I think about her, you know, when I'm going through stuff, hard stuff and hardship, you know, I'll just look up and say, I know you're watching me. And uh, mm. uh, you know, that hug, you know, that hug from here to tell me that everything is going to be okay. You know, it will just come. That's how my mom is. And I miss her a lot. And she was also very active in the struggle. On the throat. We want to know. There's a very important yes. building named after your mother. <laughs> Don't, on the throat. Please, please. <laughs> Yeah, she, 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 she was indeed a, a politician and uh, she played a huge role in, the poli in, in, in politics. And for me, when I look at my mom, I think she has sacrificed a lot. Somewhere along the line, she has sacrificed her family for the liberation of, 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 of the people. And uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I wish I could have had enough time to spend with her. I wish I could, she could have seen me growing to become this mature woman that I am today. You know, there's so much that I wish uh, I could have shared with her. You know, when I was growing up, I used to hate her because she was very strict and uh, she was very like a, 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 a controlling. But when I grew up, I, I started to appreciate her. And I started to believe and see that indeed my mom was a, a, a looking after me and she was doing what any mother could have done. Now that I have my son, I understood exactly what she was doing. As hard as she may become, as hard as she was to me a, when I was growing up. But I, I, I appreciate her now. You know, I was telling my sister's daughter the other day to say, you know, when you grow up, you know, I mean, I, I would wish my mom could go to hospital and get sick so that she's not going to be home and come back 
home and say, I must cook, I must wash dishes, I must do this, you know, small things. But uh, because of how she was, she was like this prom and proper, you know, everything must be clean, everything must be straight, everything must be in order. And uh, for me, I used to hate that because when I was a tomboy pedal when I was growing up and I wanted things to go my way. And um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> a daughter of a very, very powerful woman. There's a building. Aufunogo Stelanga, you keep skipping. Named after your mom, which makes us as black women proud to see one of us honored. But for you, it's your mother. How does that feel? You know, for me, to tell you the honest truth, Tenjiwe, material things are there and the honorary are there, but in most cases, I try and avoid them as possible as I could be. And uh, I wouldn't like, because sometimes when people see you get associated with this, they will change uh, things, they will change your hard work and they will associate it to the fact that, no, she's like this because her mom was like this. She's like this because of this. You know, sometimes you'd like to be known like, okay, one danger I'd like to be sitting there and people would be, you know, saying at least this young black child uh, who has come from the humble beginnings, she has worked so hard to be where she is. Not being labeled like, uh, oh no, she's like this because, oh no, she's like, you'll find people fighting and saying, no, she's getting this because, you know, that sometimes that hurts because people, they don't know where you're coming from and how much effort do you put and what have you done to be where you are and how many times have you fallen? Because you know, sometimes people, when they look at you, they think, no, she just got all this thing on the silver plate like this. No, 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 guys, it, it's uh, tough out there. They think you're just going overseas now because you've got money. They don't know you've been hustling. I'm telling you, you know, sometimes you'll be like, ish, you know, this this has been a, a, a tough year. Like this year, you know, this year, it, nobody knows what's going to happen. We haven't been working for quite some time. It's been a difficult year. I said, when this thing started, I said, okay, maybe God wants me to slow down a bit and, and, and take a break. But this has been a very hard and difficult moment for all of us, you know, and a uh, but, you know, one can never just go out and say, okay, after this year, I want to go out and spend this. You know, this time, I think all of us, once we go back to normal, we all we will all want to push and push harder and cover all this time that we've been sitting and doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Okay.